Today we are talking about surprises at your wedding, wedding surprises, um, whether or not you should do it or not, and some really good ideas, um, maybe some bad ideas depending on your personality and who you are and your friends and family and everything. Um, but I like surprises. I think surprises are always fun. Um, I can, uh, like I said, I've got a birthday coming up, so I'm sure there'll be some surprises along the way with that. Um, we actually surprised my wife with a gift yesterday. She had already told me one thing she wanted and it was taken care of. And my daughter and I went out and bought her like this mopping Roomba thing. So that was like a completely, uh, a complete surprise to her. She did not expect to get another gift, uh, especially that one. Anyway, we like surprises. So we're going to be covering all that. Uh, if you have any ideas or anything, we'd love to hear that what you're thinking in the comments. And hopefully some of these surprise ideas will get you motivated to do something fun and interesting on your wedding day. Wedding surprises. First thing to always mention, guys, is people are not all the same. You know, um... Some people really love surprises and some people really hate surprises. Like some people like that's all they want. They want surprise, surprise, surprise. And then some people like will be no, <laughs> don't don't do that. I will be upset if you do that. Um, like you think about what like for presents or anything like that, they would rather tell you exactly what they want versus someone who wants to be surprised. So. Know your situation before you decide to do this. Um, know, you know, know the couple. I mean, you're part of the couple, so you need to know. But do both of you like surprises? Do both of you hate surprises? And then the other people, you know, know the other people that the surprises may affect. So, like, if you're going to surprise your wedding party, if you're going to surprise your parents, your guests, whatever, know how they're going to react and, you know, think about that. Even if it is super funny, you know, if it's going to upset someone, it may not be the best choice and you might not want to do that. Um, you know, have a good reason for doing the surprise. So don't do it just to, like, make fun of people or to hurt someone's feelings. Make sure it is something that people are going to enjoy and it is something um, special, uh, interesting, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't think that anyone would, would do a, a surprise on a wedding day just to be kind of a jerk, but I have to throw that out there just so make sure you know the situation, know the people involved, and whether or not um, whether or not it's going to be a good idea to do it or not. So this is one of my, I love this photo, it still cracks me up to this day, and this was like four years ago. Um these are all in random order, so there's not really any reason for one or the other. But we're just going to go through some of the different ideas. So wedding outfits. You know, uh, you think about weddings and you think about this really like formal dressed up time. Um, maybe that's not your personality, though. and Maybe you want to do something a little less formal. And at some point in the day, you know, you could have people wear something unexpected or maybe the couple wears something unexpected. So in this situation, we were actually doing actually doing a first look. Um, and to the surprise of the groom, when he turned around, it was not his bride, but it was one of his groomsmen in a wedding dress. And it was a, a hilarious reaction. And like the next second after that, he was on the floor, like laughing and crying. Um, so again, you know, you knew the situation and knew he wouldn't be upset about it. Um, and uh, it was just a funny moment. You know, I've also seen first looks like where the bride was wearing like a dinosaur costume or something. And I thought that was hilarious. So he turns around expecting to see her in a dress and she's wearing a dinosaur costume. Um, so... You know, it could be something related to the wedding or it could just be something completely random. Um, I have had groomsmen wear like superhero shirts under their um, under their uh, normal clothes. And, you know, I thought that was really funny. Um, and, you know, it's probably something you want to only do for a brief time. So you don't want to wear this like forever. 
you want to wear it and then get back into probably your normal clothes so you can actually be comfortable and enjoy it. Um, some of the times you can do this, we already mentioned the surprise at the first look. Um, you can also have guests do something funny at the reception. One of the images you'll see at the end of the of all this is a someone came out in a dinosaur costume. Um, the photo in this one, the groomsmen snuck out and were wearing these Daisy Duke shorts. And the girl just, it was hilarious. She, she flipped out laughing when she saw them coming out in these shorts. They did not wear that the entire day, though. They wore that only for a short amount of time and then went back into their normal clothing choice. Um, uh, here's a new one that someone mentioned. So maybe, maybe someone's a big Elvis fan or maybe they really like some type of music person. So you could get like someone to impersonate and they would come dressed up as that person and they could sing the song, uh, maybe for the first dance or something. I, I thought that was a really clever, interesting idea. Um, and it does involve outfits. Um, I've seen the couple themselves wear interesting outfits. So that could be go a lot of different ways. So you imagine like everyone's waiting for them to enter and the doors open and in they come and he's wearing a Chewbacca mask and she's wearing, I don't know, a stormtrooper helmet or something. Um, it could be lots of different things, but you know, just surprising people with outfits is a really fun and easy way. Um, and again, you can always go back to wearing the normal clothes, so it doesn't have to be something permanent you're doing the entire day. Um, cakes. I love cake. I got to eat birthday cake yesterday. But uh, the groom's cake is a fun time to surprise people. And so the way you would do this in almost all situations is the groom would not know what the cake is going to be. And it's special because the guys, you know, there's not a whole lot of the, the wedding that's really about the guy. You know, he may have to say so in things, but usually someone else is making the decisions. So the groom's cake would be something special for him and you can make it as a surprise and have it fit around their personality and things that they love. Um, and it, it really is a fun secret because they don't know what, what, to, what to expect. Um, so a lot of the times I'm trying to think of all the different cakes I've seen. A lot of the times it's related to a sport or hobby, something they're interested in. I've seen a lot of sports related ones, um, sports teams. I've seen a golf one. Um, saw some that are related to vehicles that the, the groom had. Uh, I remember one from like eight years ago. It had, um, like actual super, like, I don't remember what superhero it was, but some kind of play figure creature on it. It was kind of funny. And I've seen a game, game of Thrones, but I don't think that one was a surprise. So anyway, there are a lot of different things you could do, but uh, making the groom's cake a surprise is fun because then they get to see it and they're like, oh, I had no idea what to expect. And it's fun, fun moment for them. And it's connected to them and it's personal. All right, so most people go with the DJs, and there's nothing wrong with DJs, um, but I did see this video, and I can't remember when this was, but somehow uh, Maroon 5 was like a surprise band at a wedding. So imagine that. I mean, you're probably not going to get Maroon 5, but you know, you're expecting a DJ or something, or maybe you're expecting a local band, whatever. I don't know, whatever the situation is. And all of a sudden, this band that you actually know and like shows up and appears. Um, that would be pretty awesome. And again, it doesn't have to be like a super famous band, but it could be like a local band that maybe you've gone and watched multiple times and they're one of your favorite people. And uh, it just adds to it because, you know, live music is always more interactive and entertaining when you have people up there actually putting on a show. And the bottom part, I thought this was funny too, because um, this was a surprise at one wedding we did where, I, mean, I don't know how much of a surprise it was to everybody, but like the groom's high school band actually set up and played for like several, several minutes. Um, and so I thought that was really cool to bring, bring them back together. 
um, and to have that performance. I also love special performances, so relating to music. Um, when somebody puts something together and performs it, uh, like at the wedding on Saturday, we had a flash mob, if y'all remember, remember those. It, like you organize a special dance and then all of a sudden it happens. Um, so it could be something musical. Uh, <laughs> I've seen at least twice now someone learn to play the guitar as a surprise and all of a sudden they were performing for the bride and I thought that was really cool. Um, but it could be anything. Maybe you learned a magic trick. Maybe you learned to speak in a foreign language. I don't know, but some kind of performance more thing. Maybe you learned to act out a certain scene from a play. Um, I also like it when people write their own songs. I've had that happen at least once at a wedding where someone actually wrote and uh, recorded the song. I thought that was really cool. And like I said, I've, I've seen some secret performances and it's just really special, you know, when someone puts that kind of time and effort into doing that kind of stuff. Um, but it also is just fun for the guests to get to watch a performance. That's always fun. Make sure nothing's... Okay, my phone popped up and I want to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Um, relating to music again, I like the idea of a surprise song. So it could be lots of different situations. So it could be like any of the dances, like maybe the groom doesn't know what the, the song is going to be for the first dance. Maybe the, the father or the daughter, one of them doesn't know. So maybe the father picked out the song for their first dance or the father daughter dance and doesn't tell her. Um, or it could be the same thing. Maybe the son picked out a song and the mother doesn't know until it happens. And you know, the, the cool thing about surprises is there's just that initial moment where they don't know. And then all of a sudden they do know. And it's just, there's that magical moment where all of a sudden they're like, Oh, and they figure it out. I love that. Um, maybe you could have a surprise song for your grand entrance. Just pick out something really funny and random that people wouldn't expect. Um, same thing with like the last song of the night. So like, you could have the DJ get everyone out in the dance room like, all right, this is going to be the last song of the night. We're going to really blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and then you could pick something really ridiculous or just something really great. But the fact that you're making it kind of a surprise, people will enjoy that. Oh, rings. Oh. So this is, again, one of those ones where you want to make sure you know <laughs> You know the people before you mess with them because this could freak some people out and cause some major issues and anger even. Um, so, you know, the wedding rings are really expensive and um, the groomsmen will have the bride's ring and have it with them. And the most common kind of way to mess with people is for the groom or the, the groomsman, best man, whoever, to pretend like he's lost the ring. Like, he can't find it. Um, like, I don't know where it is. I don't know what happened to it. Um, and funny enough, sometimes that does happen where they forget it and left it somewhere. But most of the time, they're just hiding it. And then they'll be, after a few minutes, be like they'll pull it out and be like, here it is. And ha, 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 I messed with you type thing. Um, another time, twice now, I've had this happen where uh, the groomsmen pretended to drop the ring. And so, like, it's usually like a dime or something, like a you know, a coin, something metallic, and they'll drop that like out of their pocket, like, oh, whoops. And you'll hear this ding, 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 ding. And everyone's freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, he just dropped that expensive ring on the ground. But it really wasn't the ring. But you know, that surprise, that freak out moment is pretty hilarious. Um, but again, I would only do that in certain, certain situations where you know you're not going to get killed later for messing with them. Um, the good old surprise appearance. So weddings are now starting to get back to normal to a degree, but you're still going to have a good amount of people not be able to be there either because of COVID or it could be because of the military. Um, could be a lot of different reasons why, that, why they are not there. But it's always nice when you can have that surprise. Like I'm not expecting to see this person and maybe they show up and, uh, they could show up in person or it could be like just a Zoom call. I don't know. 
But you know, the videos that always get me like the Facebook videos are the ones where like someone from the military comes home and surprises the kids and oh my gosh, it just it gets me every time just like because how emotional that surprise is. Um, so if you could pull that off for someone, maybe their brother, the bride's brother is in the military and she's not expecting him and he shows up. Um, maybe you're just able to get grandma on a Zoom call, you know, whatever. It, it would just be a really nice surprise for people and um, getting them involved in part of it, making them there for the wedding is just a really special thing to do. The wedding exit. You know, most people do sparkler wedding, like their exit. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love a good sparkler exit. But um, imagine if you let someone else take control of the exit and decide what they were going to do. Um, it could be like what actually happens as you exit. It could be what you what you get to leave in, like they get to pick the vehicle. Um, or like what everyone's dressed up like. Like imagine if you open the doors and everyone is wearing, I've used Star Wars again, but you know, what if they're wearing some kind of costume? Um, maybe they all got masks printed out of your face. <laughs> imagine opening the doors and walking out and seeing everyone wearing a mask with your face on it. That would be pretty hilarious. Um, I mean, there's lots of different things you could do, but you know, when you make it a surprise, that's special for the couple because like when, when they're about to go out, they have no idea what to expect. They don't know what's going to happen. Am I going to get pelted with eggs? Um, are they going to throw glitter in the air? I don't know. It, it could be all types of things. Um, silly string, that, that was a surprise in that photo. Is They were not expecting the silly string and people shot them and me with silly, spr with silly string. Um, but I could imagine all types of surprises like for the vehicle. So maybe you really like Mustangs and they, someone got a Mustang for you to drive off in or a motorcycle, um, or the Oscar Mayer wiener. I don't know. could be a lot of things. I love gifts. I think gifts are some of the best surprises you can do. Um, because you know, when you get something and you're not expecting it, that's awesome. And especially when it's something really cool and a surprise. So some of the people, they could be, you know, between the couple, it could be to the parents, it could be to the wedding party, it could be to the guests, ring bearer, flower girl, whatever. But there's a lot of situations where you can give gifts, gifts and make them a surprise. Um, my biggest thing is make it personal, you know, make it something special for that person related to who they are, what they like, their preferences, because that's what it really makes it special. I mean, if you just give someone five dollars, like whoop de doo but if you give them something you know they really care about, that's awesome. Um, so some ideas on this, and this is where the story and Saturday come into play. Um, so I'll tell the story of Saturday real quick. So as you can see in the photo, they were doing the shoe game. And the shoe game progressed as it normally does. Nothing, nothing weird or anything happened. Um, until they got to the last three questions and I was prompted, I was warned beforehand. So I was in the right position as it happened. But I believe the, the first of the three questions was like, which one of you gives the best gifts? And the second question was, which one of you is better at keeping surprises? And then the third question was like, which one of you got Trenton, uh, tickets to Daytona, which he is a huge like racing fan and so you can see his reaction in the photo when uh they said that last one he actually like tossed the shoes in the air and he was like freaking out right afterward he ran over and hugged her and it was a real cool moment um but that's a really cool surprise uh you can't see the shoes flying because my face is in front of it you can see one of the shoes flying um but you know things like that so between each other, there are a lot of gifts and surprises you could do. So like tickets to events like his could be to a concert. Um, maybe you get them their favorite food or drink for the day. I like this one. So like have a note and a gift waiting for them in their car. So when they leave the house 
or flowers for her when she wakes up. Um, but the the ideas are pretty open there. But just giving someone giving the someone like the couple each other gifts is pretty cool. Um, for the parents, you could do lots of things. You know, like the parents pay for a lot of the wedding. They raised you. They dealt with you for many years. So it'd be nice to give them something. Um, so maybe you buy them a trip to Italy. Maybe you, um, I'm trying to think what else parents would want at that point. Maybe you get them tickets to something they really like. I don't know. Um, but also for the guests, you can do stuff. I really like the idea of customized gifts. It would be a lot of work, but imagine if you gave every single person at your wedding a gift based off of them. So like it would be completely different for every single person, but very personal and special. The first look. Um, so most of the time a first look is a planned situation and you know, I like it that way cause I can control it, but I have been involved on at least one occasion where the first look was like a surprise to the groom. So basically if you want a real shock and emotional moment, you have the groom experience the first look when they're not expecting it. So the groom's like doing normal photos with you. You sneak the bride out behind them and then you tell him to turn around and all of a sudden he's not expecting it. There she is. And he's like, you know, the emotions would be very real, but you know, with a first look, they can kind of prepare themselves like a normal first look, they know it's coming. So a surprise first look would get you even better emotional reactions. Um, I've yet to be part of this, but a surprise wedding. So, you know, like having people, I have been part of a surprise engagement party because it was like a proposal. That actually happened like a month or two ago. Um, but, you know, making it a surprise for the guests, I think that would be pretty cool. So people show up, they think they're going to a normal party, like a birthday party or whatever, and it turns out they're actually going to a wedding. And it gets to it's you get to skip a lot of the hoopla that involves some wedding planning and you just kind of make it informal. And it's still a good time. You can still have the wedding ceremony. People can still party and have a good time. Um, but again, it's kind of a, a fun surprise for people. And so like for the the engagement party that I went to, they planned it as a birthday party. Everybody knew he was going to propose except for the girl, of course. So they were part of the surprise and they, they got to see that happen and it was really neat. I also like some activities. Um, you know, it's fun to give people stuff to do. So I like the idea of like having a surprise scavenger hunt. So like people show up and all of a sudden you're like, all right, you're doing a scavenger hunt. You got to look around and find all these things. Um, and people are having to search and look for all this stuff. Um, or maybe like a surprise dance competition. I don't know. Um, something like that would be fun. Um, I also like uh, someone mentioned this giving people something to bring, like they get to bring something that's a surprise. So you could tell people like, okay, when you show up, I want you to don't tell me what you're going to bring. You could bring your favorite food, your favorite drink, your favorite book, your favorite picture of your family, um, your favorite memory like of the couple or something like that reminds you of the couple. So each person's bringing something that's going to be a complete surprise to the couple. And when they see it, it's going to be fun. So like every time the guests, they get to be with the guest, they're going to see something that's a surprise. Um, you could have people make something instead of like buying gifts for the couple, they could make something custom. So maybe they're really good at baking pies and they could bring a pie or like my father builds things. So maybe he could build them. I don't know, a plaque for their wall. I don't know. It could be lots of things. Um, all right. So kind of wrap all this up cause I've been talking a while. Be creative, make it fun and interesting. Um, focus on the couple with your surprises. And if you're the couple making the surprise, focus on your people and make it fun for the people. You know, um, if you are concerned that someone's going to freak out, you know, ask someone related how they think they will like ask the mom, do you think she's going to like this? Do you think she's going to hate this? 
and it's better safe to be better to be safe than sorry and like cause some real issues um by making this and again if you are playing the surprise don't let it take over the entire wedding you don't want to be the make this about you it's about the couple and the people there so don't because I've, I've seen some people that just really like to be the center of attention and they try and run everything and they're like all right now everyone we're gonna do this and do that and this is what's gonna happen don't be like that person I mean, you know if you're gonna do a surprise do it get it over with and then move on and let people have their wedding so Hopefully some of those surprises sound interesting. Um, you can always come up with your own surprises. And uh, like I said, I always love seeing them. Being part of them is so cool. Uh, if you are going to do a surprise, make sure the photographer knows about it. Because, you know, if we're not in the correct position, if we don't know where where it's happening or whatever, then there's a chance that you may not get a photograph of it or uh, the best angle or whatever. But I do love the idea of surprising people on the wedding day. Um, almost everyone loves a surprise, and especially when you put that personal touch on it where you're really considering who they are and, um, and you know, what they care about. And I think that's just a great thing to do for people. I just thought of something else. I thought of something really – I thought of a fun surprise that I wish someone had done for me at my wedding. Um, as most of you probably know, I'm big into movies and TV shows. So here's a fun surprise you can make your guests do. Um, instead of asking for gifts, have each guest bring you their favorite movie or their, you know, like maybe the first season of their favorite TV show or whatever. So it probably costs like $10, $15, $20 maybe. And as they show up, they give you that I would have loved that that would have blown my mind because all of a sudden now I have like a hundred new tv shows to watch or a hundred new movies to watch and people are sharing something that's personal to them and it's a surprise to me because I won't ever know like when someone walks up like what are they gonna what's their thing anyway um hopefully this has been helpful hopefully you've got some great idea for surprises I would love to hear if you have a plan for some kind of surprise. Um, I think that would be fun to share all those out there, of course, without giving the surprise away to the person involved. But as always, guys, if you have questions, if you need help with something, um, I am here to help you guys. You can comment below. You can reach out to me personally. I don't care. And, you know, I just want you guys to have a beautiful, wonderful, fun-filled wedding um, I want you to laugh. I want you to love. I want you to repeat that over and over again, as I always say. So if there's anything I can do to help you guys, reach out. Let me know what I can do. All right. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. See you guys.